I have at least six different questions that have come in. Um, and I wanted to show you guys some things in Canva that are kind of newer. I mean, some of the features that I found are newer. I wanted to show you some of the kind of cool things that I've discovered how to use inside of Canva. Mm -hmm. So that's what you guys are here for, right? Did you know that you can make your own custom gifts? Like, actually your own custom gifts. Not like just like the Canva animating them, but actual videos. This was my mind when I learned this one. So obviously it's not perfect, but I was really just messing around with this last week and I wanted to show you guys how I did it. Um, so first off, like <clears throat> it got really hot and I was like, okay, tank tops, this is going to work for the YouTubes because for whatever reason, like inner things work better when women are on the internet, go figure. So you do not have to do any of these things as I did, obviously, but I did them so that you didn't have to figure it out on yourself. So how do you make this into a GIF? So first off, what I did was I literally went to Zoom or you can use Loom or Screencast-O-Matic, whatever it is that you use to record videos. Um, you can even use your phone if you really wanted to. That totally doesn't matter. Take your video. I did a short like five second clip. It's literally me tapping on my watch because I knew that I'm like, I wanted to do a GIF of like time's running out, like are you joining? And this is what I came up with was this little gift. So you take the video and then there is a website. This is free. Um, there are other websites that you can use for removing the background of things. Um, but this is the one that I found on the internet and I think that it was pretty good. <clears throat> and again, it's free. So what you do is once you have your video, you upload the clip. Is this the long one? That is the long one. That's not what I wanted. That's not it either. Is this the one? No. Hold, please. No. 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 That's not it either. No, that's not it. Oh, I'm doing really well here today. Here we go. This is the one. This is literally the gift that I used. <laughs> okay. So it is thinking, and while it's removing the background, <clears throat> this is what I'm left with. Now you can see, I don't know if you can see it, like there's a little bit of a watermark. So the further away you can be from that watermark, the easier it will be to crop it out so that nobody has to see it. Um, some of the videos do better than others as far as like actually removing the background automatically. Like you, if we go back over here, you can see that that one worked fine. But for whatever reason, like it kept chopping off my fingers. I don't think I turned on my ring light for this one. So that affected it. This one did fine, but this one, like, I definitely didn't have my ring light on, so I'll have to re-record it. Not a big deal. But once you've downloaded it, or once you've saved it, you download it, and then once you've done that, you come over to your uploads, upload it over into Canva. <clears throat> and I did another one, but I didn't have anything to use it with yet. And then, ta-da! There it is! And you can crop the sides of it to make it smaller. I had my jacket on the chair, which was really annoying in retrospect um, because it makes my shoulder look really bulky. So I had to cut it or I had to crop it something fierce like this. And what I did, again, was just put a uh, little button here so that people could click on it. The idea was that this was going to be in a an email. This is going to be something that can be in an email. You can do these, by the way for your um, opt-in boxes. This could be something that like, if I wanted to, let's not use that. Hang on. If I wanted to, I could take, you know, let's say that this is my freebie. I could take this and dance around with it and do like a thing. And what do we call that? Like a little, a little internet dance, I guess. I could do some kind of like a like jiggle it around and people will be like, you want this? Like click on this and you can get it sent to your inbox. Because the idea with any kind of um, graphics like this, and I've said this and I will continue to say this because I think that it's a really important thing for everybody. Once you have your graphics and such, um, this is not something like a saving grace. I don't necessarily think that having a, um, a gift 
is going to be something that it's like, oh, well, if you don't have a gift, like nobody's going to buy your stuff. I don't believe that in the least. This is just an additional kind of like, oomph. this is like a little fun thing for people to have that really does catch their attention and helps them to see what you've got to say. Anything that just brings their attention back, because remember, we all have attention spans like goldfish right now. I said this last week in an email and true story. It is completely true. Um, we have the attention spans of goldfish. I think that I have the attention span of like an eggplant. Like it is an inanimate object. Like I am not, I do not have a long attention span. Literally, I do not. So it is really difficult to catch the attention of people who have short attention spans. So the goal is to just keep their attention on what we have to say just a little bit longer, just a little bit longer, enough to get them to take an action that we want to have. So that's why gifts, I think, are really fun to make. They're important in the sense that, like, it does set you apart. It does set you apart as somebody who's doing something a little bit different. You're not just like everybody else who's just saying, like, go click on this and I'll send you something for free. You have a picture. You're creating that connection with your audience. There was also something else that I had heard, and I wish that I could remember it and, like, where it came from. But I do remember that there was somebody who had said, like, after... Either I'm butchering this no matter which way and growing your community and everything like that is because once people have seen your face in video after I think it's like either 20 minutes or an hour worth of video of seeing your face, they've built a connection with you. They've really in their minds built a connection with you. And that's kind of a beautiful thing in the sense that it's like if we want to build communities for ourselves, this is a great way to do it is to put our faces front and center. Like, not all the time, I guess, but like all the time. If we want people to pay attention, we want to build that connection. This is solidifying the no like, and trust factor right off the bat. You're not just some like anonymous person sending them emails or like, you know, um, on their, on your website, you're not some anonymous person. You're like a real person, not like a real person. You are a real person. And they're able to build that connection with you right off the bat when they see your face. So are these videos or are these gifts perfect? No, for whatever reason, I decided to figure out how to do gifts on a no makeup day. So that was great. So now you get to see potato face Caroline, which isn't really that bad, but it was still one of those things where I figured something out and that one is, I actually did put on makeup for that day, but it was a fun thing to do. I think it's a little fun, like it's like confetti, it's just like confetti throwing like, yay, it's a little fun thing to do. So do you have to do it? No. Do I think that it's going to save the concept of like whether nobody will buy or whether 100,000 people will buy or sign up or whatever it is? No. A lot of that comes back to the way that you relate to your people, the way that you relate to your audience and all of that stuff. But can you save this um, from Canva as a GIF? Absolutely you can. And you can do this for not just for your email. Again, like you can make this into a, let's see. Let's see if we can make like a really quick, whoops. We're going to copy these guys, bring them on down here, make you a little bit bigger, not all the way big. Uh, grab the freebie. Let's just go ahead and call it best guy, right? Boop. And we're going to go over here to our elements. Let's do, let's see what we've got for background. Okay. Why not? Why not? Right? Like, can we do that as a background? No. There we go. Okay. Grab the freebie. I'm so in. I'm going to come back over here to my uploads. Let's see about my images. I did those. Let's just pick on this guy for a second. I know that this is not a freebie, but like, bear with me. Bear with me. So we're going to pretend like this is an opt-in freebie. That's too much. Moving you over. Is it perfect? No. But would somebody see it? Would it stand out on a blog post as something that somebody would want? Would they want to click on it and go, ooh, I'm interested. What is this? Like, I can get something for free and your eyes are drawn to it immediately. Like 
you know, I think that this is like a survival instinct as humans, like our eyes are drawn to motion. And so when something is moving, our eyes are drawn to it. And so again, we want more eyes on our opt-in boxes. We want more eyes on our emails. We want more eyes on our freebies, our products, our opt-ins, whatever it is. The way to do it is to draw their attention in. And the quickest way to do it is not to try to figure out like color theory of like, is what I'm doing, like, is purple the right color here? Do I want to use orange instead? No, the right thing, or not the right thing to do, but something that you can do is just use a, an image that moves, a GIF. Can you animate all of the rest of the things here? Absolutely you can. Do I think that you need to do that? No. Do I think that this is something that like would be a little bit overwhelming if everything was moving constantly? Yes. But can you do it? Sure, if you really want to. But you can also use this same image as an opt-in, like an opt-in box on your website. Or you could add this as an image inside of an email. Why the heck not, right? So there's just a lot of different things that you can do, but making your own GIF is like, this was so cool to do. It was so much fun. Like you can see, I had a lot of fun making these, except for this one. This one was kind of frustrating because I'm like, I can't edit out this mess in here. But yeah, it's really kind of like a two-step process of you take the video, you remove the background from unscreen, and then you add it back into Canva. So much fun, super easy compared to a lot of different things. And yeah, it makes it so that you have something else that sets you apart from the rest of people and builds that connection with your people of like seeing your face and like associating you as an authority in your niche. So yeah, I hope that you guys learned something about gifts and like had fun doing it. I hope that that helped today. And wowie, did I talk an awful lot. Thank you so much for being here. And um, I hope that that taught you something cool that you can do inside of Canva. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. We're always there and we can do a um, quick video or a loom or whatever. Um, the whole idea is to help you and to teach you and to allow you to find more uses for these templates that you have. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.